A team of scientists have come to Penguin Beach at London Zoo and installed a high-tech track. It's the penguin's distinctive walk that scientists are studying. Beneath the track lie force plates loaded with sensors, which allow the researchers to analyse how these birds get around. Well, I think it all breaks down to um, trying to understand how evolution deals with compromises. So you can be very good at certain things as an animal, but sometimes you can't be good at everything. So in the case of penguins, they're extremely good at swimming, but their uh, way of moving on land might be seen as a, a bit of a compromise. So it's a really good system for understanding uh, how these sorts of push me, pull you sort of influences work in terms of how animals have evolved through time. Previous studies have revealed that the waddle is the most energy efficient way for them to get about on land. But these experiments will reveal exactly how they're doing this. We're hoping to find out how penguins use their legs to waddle. They're applying forces left and right as they swing their body from side to side. And what's not known about penguins is, is how the legs do that. How big are the sideways forces? on penguin legs, and how does that compare to other waddling birds? Today's penguins most likely evolved their waddle as they became better adapted to swimming. As their body shape changed to help them fly through the water, they became more clumsy on land.